Hi Virgo, welcome to your general tarot forecast for November. This is Miri and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Whether you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal reading information, decks I'm using, social media, ways to tip or donate. I have a wish list down there. Tons of stuff there, so please do uh, go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. And just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, those who have blessed me with a tip or donation to the channel, thank you so much. Your support really does mean a lot to me and helping with the channel's growth, being a part of that and getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. So thank you. I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Virgo, this is a general collective reading for November. So we're just going to see what comes out here. It's a general tarot forecast. So we may get love. We get may get money or career, friend, family issues. Uh, we could get anything here. So we're just going to take what comes. Hopefully it resonates for you. Okay. So take what resonates and throw away what doesn't. And I could even pick up on um, if it's something not happening to you. It could be something happening to somebody around you that may be affecting you in some way. So also keep that in mind. Can be past, present, or future. Energies I can pick up on will not resonate with everybody. It's a general collective reading, so it's not a personal reading. So let's get on with it. Virgo. This is a zodiac oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet. We'll just see what comes out here. See, uh, this could be affecting you in some way for November. So some of you could be dealing with the Pisces around you. Could be anybody, could be family, friend, co-worker, significant other. You could have Pisces heavily in your chart, or somebody may have Pisces heavily in their chart. And I just noticed how Virgo, you're six, and Pisces is 12. If you cut 12 in half, it's six. So <laughs> I don't know why Spirit had me point that out, but I don't know. I don't know. I've just got something doubling up for you in the month of November. I don't know. Or something getting reduced in the month of November. I don't know. That's a weird... A weird message but if that makes sense to somebody uh then let me know all right so virgo let's get an opening message for you virgo let's see what's going on with you for the month of november what is going on with virgo for the month of november spirit please can you have their opening now okay i'm feeling that one because it kind of stuck in my hand in a funky kind of way all right so we got rianon rianon sorceress you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. So, hmm, you may be uh, getting like that strength and power to manifest something in your life. It could be anything. All right, so let's get, or this is letting you know that you do have that magical sorceress energy inside of you to manifest whatever you want into reality in your life if you're thinking about something if you have fear or something like that uh, you may be holding back to your full potential i think that's why we have six to the twelve that you can double up your um strength your power and you can do anything that you want so all right so let's get that's two. I only want one. All right. Let's see. Just kind of feeling that one. All right. Let's see what kind of energy you're in. So we have Ain, leap of faith. Take the risk and put your heart's true desire into action. Exactly. And that goes right along here with sorceress. Purple is all about uh, manifest, manif you know, manifestation. It's sort of like a pink, pinkish energy, which has to do, you know, that's kind of like a love energy, but it doesn't have to be. Some of you could be taking a leap of faith in love or just taking a leap of faith for a new beginning of some kind, a new career, maybe even moving um, or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to clarify all this. I'm put this one here. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Quan Yin, compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. So... Not only within you, but within everyone. So you may need to uh, release judgments for some reason uh, in the month of November. And just focus on the love and light instead of the negative energy. Hmm. Where's the 
these are the same color. Yeah, I think they almost are. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. That one wanted to jump out at me, but I'm not ready to take any yet. All right. I think the cards are eager to give you your message. <laughs> Virgo, wow. All right. Let's do one more shuffle. Okay. So what is this leap of faith about for Virgo? The Page of Swords. So this is air energy. doesn't have to be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So uh, the Page of Swords, you could be doing research online. You could be learning something new. Um, I mean, this can be about keeping tabs on somebody, but um, not really getting that energy. You know, this is about truth, clarity, cutting away things no longer serving you, clear communication, Pages are communication, but it also can be about learning, especially on the internet, online. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like you're taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, and maybe you've registered like in a new um, online program or courses or something to go like in a whole new, whole new direction in life with compassion here. I mean, maybe you're doing something in a he in the healing field like you know i don't know becoming a nurse or a doctor or maybe even not that far maybe just like a reiki healer or a chakra healer or something like that you know i don't know let's see let's get a couple more on this energy why is the page of swords here with this leap of faith for virgo the eight of cups energy water cancer scorpio pisces as i drop my card so there's the uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy there. So let's get one more. One more. One more for Virgo's energy. Why is all this energy here for Virgo? The High Priestess. Wow. So I feel like the Eight of Cups energy of uh, walking away from something no longer fulfilling to you, but you can always walk to something more fulfilling. So you may be leaving something because it's just not working for you anymore and heading in a new direction. And that's what I had felt when I had said that. And here's the Eight of Cups kind of confirming that. And the High Priestess here, Cancer Pisces, doesn't have to be. But really listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, being uh, divinely guided, connected to Source. Um, which you may not be telling anyone because the High Priestess knows a lot, but she doesn't tell anyone. So, and you see here... Wow, this book in her arms. So I feel like like you're wanting, and you could be sort of like that high priestess energy, somebody who is very connected to source that may be, you know, a medium or even a tower reader like this or uh, some sort of healer or something like that. And I feel like, you know, she has her arm out here and like sending out like kind of healing vibes. So... You know, maybe some of you are learning something new in that spiritual field because you feel so spiritually connected now, but you're not really telling anybody, I feel, because this card is very dark. You know, it's like doing, like going and doing something, but you're not really telling anybody. It's like you're not, you're not really, really telling anybody. So, I don't know, let's see. And you see in the Sorceress card how she's writing a unicorn which is kind of mythical so all right so and you see here uh she's divinely got she's divinely connected to the moon energy which is about intuition spirituality being connected to source so and having that strong inner knowing and gut feeling and intuition kind of energy so I feel like, you know, with the Page of Swords here, it's like your head is like lit up, like you you know your true calling now, you know what you want to do. You know, you're taking that leap of faith, as you see, kind of like the moon energy again behind this card. So, all right, so, and you see this card just sort of like reaching up to the sky. I feel someone very divinely connected. All right. Wow, so we have the Ten of Cups in the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. So we have Water Energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, and we have Sagittarius Energy. It doesn't have to be, so don't get too caught up with the signs. But if you have them in your chart 
or I don't know, it could be people around you, maybe supporting you, I don't know, but the Ten of Cups here is total fulfillment, happiness, and joy, fulfilled in every single way. The Wheel of Fortune, fate, destiny, uh, divine timing, things go in a better direction, things going in your favor. This is the divine Wheel of Fortune, moving things along for you on your path that you're supposed to be on. So I feel like if you're unsure, like if you're, if you're thinking about going in this direction, taking a leap of faith, um, some sort of spiritual work, or even just something else, I think the wheel is here to tell you from the divine source and energy that this is something fated for you that's meant to be. It's a path that you're supposed to go on and walk with this Eight of Cups. It's a path. See this Eight of Cups going on the journey there on that path. Sorry about the glare. And going on that journey, it's a path that you're supposed to walk on. Wow. So, and it will lead you to your Ten of Cups energy of being totally satisfied and fulfilled in every single way. All right, so let's see what your actual situation is. I'm not picking up like, um, uh, I mean... The Ten of Cups is about love and emotions. I mean, it doesn't have to be about a love connection. It can just be happy home family and just totally fulfilled uh, within yourself. So now we have the Six of Cups energy. So this could be something that, uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces again, something that you've wanted to do since childhood. This is thinking back, uh, nostalgia, memories, childhood, your youth. So this is like you now taking hold of what you've wanted to do since childhood. You go six to the eight of cups, to the ten of cups. So I think it's going to move quickly for you, like six, eight, ten, boom. <laughs> All right, so what else for your actual situation? The four of cauldrons. So, yeah, I think you're having some uh, second guesses, second uh, thoughts, maybe doubting if you should do this or not. Just, you know, four of cups of energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, again. So maybe you have a water sign around you that's not really supportive of what you're doing or they don't believe in what you're doing. Because the four of cups of energy is right in the middle of your spread and that's kind of a bored, kind of in contempt kind of energy. Like not really sure what to do, just kind of like ho-hum and just sitting there thinking and like, ugh, I don't know, I just feel blah. So it's either wherever you are now, you're, you're just not loving it. I mean, it's just you're bored, totally bored with whatever you're doing now. Or you could have some naysayers around you that aren't really believing in what path you want to take or where you want to go or what you want to do. And they're not really supporting you in that way. So now you're second guessing yourself like, well, maybe I shouldn't do this. But I can see here it's totally something maybe for some of you that you've wanted to do for a very long time, maybe even since you were a child, or maybe you knew you had these gifts since childhood, but you never told anybody with the Four of Cups energy. You never told anyone. With the High Priestess there, you kept it to yourself. But the Divine Wheel of Fortune there is coming in to push things along for you in some way, shape, or form, whether you know it or not. So what else for Virgo's actual situation? Feeling that one. Well, the Ace of Cups. So there's a brand new beginning, divinely guided. So, and here's the divinely guided wheel, bringing in this divinely guided Ace of Cups. I mean, and this usually can talk about, of you know, love or something like that, but I'm not getting that with the spread. I'm getting a um, whole new spiritual awakening. It could be self-love. It could be just feeling so divinely connected to source. It's like emotions... And fulfillment overflowing. Do you see, I'm noticing like all the jewelry on this uh, hand, like feeling just very, and maybe water is healing to you. Uh, maybe, you know, if you take um, like salt baths or maybe just going out in the rain or something like that, uh, maybe you find like going into like water, even like lakes or something just very, very healing for you. But that's the brand new beginning uh, for you. So this is going to be, you're going to be totally in love with this brand new beginning, with the direction you're going in. It's going to fulfill you. It's divinely guided for you. You've got two cards here of divinely guided. So whatever you're going for, whatever your direction you're going in, I mean, it could be a new relationship. It could be a new spiritual path. It could be a new career change, 
You could be physically moving. Whatever you're doing, whatever your situation is, you're going in the right direction. It's meant for you. It's something you're meant to do. It's a path you're meant to walk on. And it's going to fulfill you in every single way. And whatever it is, if it's something you thought about since childhood, or you could have an old uh, childhood friend, uh, a family member here who is supporting you. You may have some that aren't and some that are. So for some of you. So let's get a few more to clarify your situation. I'm taking these two. All right, so we have the father, which is the emperor, and the three of wands. So this is the emperor energy, Aries, doesn't have to be. Three of wands, Leo Sag Aries. So this is very fiery, passionate, excited energy. So, you know, the emperor here can be emperor, empress, doesn't matter, it's just energy. Someone who takes control, takes the lead, takes charge, is in control. So this is you, finally, I think you're just going to, like, take control, take the lead, take charge of your life a lot of passion, drive, and ambition, and just go after whatever you're going after here. Because I think you've been waiting. You've been waiting and waiting. The three of wands, it's like you know where you're going, but you have to wait. Wait for the ship to come in so you can get on board and sail away to your destiny. It's like, you know, the sun is shining to my happiness and joy. I see it in the distance. But it's a period of patiently waiting for some reason. I think you've been patiently waiting and thinking about this for a very long time. And now the divine wheel is like, no more waiting here. It's like going to push you forward in the direction you're meant to go in. It's going to push you forward in some way to take the lead and take control and move in this new direction. Because this is a divinely guided new beginning for you with the Ace of Cups. And then the Ten of Cups over there. But like I said, with the Four of Cups in the middle, I feel like You've been second guessing yourself. You're debating, should I, shouldn't I? You know, what should I do? You know, these people support me, these people don't. You know, I may lose friends and family. Uh, kind of energy. The star. So, this is your advice. So, this is healing. This is faith, hope, optimism, wishes and dreams coming true. Divinely guided energy again with the star, Aquarian energy here. This is a divinely guided path for you and to trust in that, to have that faith hope, optimism. This is a healing energy that whatever happens, if there's any sadness, like with the Four of Cups energy, whatever happens in this process, if you lose friends, family, whatever, you will heal from that with the star energy. This is healing, faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams coming true, divinely guided energy for you. Divinely guided with the star, divinely guided with the Wheel of Fortune moving it ahead. So what else for your advice? And you see you're balancing out energies there also. So I think things in the future will balance out for you. That's way too many. I just want one more for the advice for Virgo. One more. So the page of shields. So the page of pentacles. So, you know, it might be slow moving here. Uh, this is the offer coming in. It's very stable and secure. Coming in, going out, uh, communication, again, learning, education, learning something new. Maybe in the beginning stages here, as I have felt with the page of swords. Um, swords are all about mind, communication, that sort of energy. So I think, you know, this is your advice is to move forward. I mean, if it's a slow process, then so be it with the pentacle energy. That's Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, that's your energy. So if this is a slow process, but it's, you know, it's telling you here to just keep that faith, hope, optimism, because this will be secure and stable. And to keep learning what you need to learn moving forward. And the star healing, I mean, you could, like I said, be learning, learning to be a healer of some kind. So spirit just kind of confirming that for me. Whoops. Oh, that's too many. I want a couple now to clarify your advice. Wow. So we got the sun and we got the knight of swords. So Leo energy and um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius doesn't have to be, but happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing energy, happy home and family, everything positive that you can imagine in your life with the sun. So happiness, victory, abundance, growth, expansion, 
and you see here the head lit up again as with over here so yeah this is your happiness and the ten of cups too is like the same sort of energy so when you take charge you take the lead and you go after what you want this will lead you to your success victory happiness and joy as also with the as also with the ten of cups energy and the knight of swords energy here is um action so i think you're going to move forward uh fearlessly here with the page of swords and the knight of swords i mean sorry so just be cautious of your energy and not to be reckless because this can be a reckless kind of energy where you just like i don't know it's just you don't mean to be reckless but you just get so excited and passionate and you just want to rush 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 can be reckless energy so be careful of that energy because you've got an energy here of a slow steady secure energy and this is like a rushing energy and you see the balancing energy here so you need to balance out your energy just take your time go with the flow as you see the flow of the water there and just maintain balance as you move forward uh fearlessly i mean you can move forward fearlessly but not in a rushing reckless kind of way either and this is you know moving forward with the sword again truth and clarity cutting away things no longer serving you telling it like it is and not taking any bs also kind of energy with the knight of swords all right so let's get your possible outcome for this new beginning for you in this direction that you want to go in let's get possible outcome for Virgo, King of Wands. So that's fire energy, but it doesn't have to be. And I don't know why the back of the chair looks like that, but just saying. <laughs> so Leo Sagittarius. So this is just someone, King, Queen, doesn't matter. So this is someone going after what they want and being very victorious, using all their uh, passion, excitement, you know, strength, being brave. Um, this is kind of entrepreneurship energy also. Um, very creative energy, growth, expansion, having a lot of determination and drive, being very fiery. So I think you'll, you'll be very fiery. You'll be in that King of Wands energy coming out as a king or queen. So that's good energy. So you will be sitting in your throne doing your life's purpose, whatever that means for you. All right, so let's get a couple clarifiers for you, Virgo. Eight of Swords. Yeah, mental entrapment here. Mental blockages. Uh, Leave a Gemini Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, but yeah. So I think even though you're going to go for it and you're going to move forward, you're still going to have some mental blockages, entrapment, you know, thoughts that you can't get out of your head. But you can leave those behind and get out of this because she has all those swords around her to free her of this energy, to free her of those ties that bind, you know, take that blindfold off and get out of all those negative thoughts so let's get even though i mean you're going to go after the throne and get what you want do what you want do your life purpose whatever it is for you you're still going to have doubts fears uh thoughts in your head for some reason i don't know why uh all right let's get one more for your possible outcome for virgo now you have the king of cups energy king or queen whoops so you know, this is a love energy, but it doesn't have to be. So this is, you know, love, compassion, compassion. This is being totally aligned and in love with your life, where you're going, what you're doing kind of energy. We do have two kings here, king or queen. We have uh, water and fire. So I don't know if these are people around you. You could have a water sign, a fire sign that are supporting you and helping you along in this journey. Or this is just all your energy of having that, you know. With the two kings here, I think you'll get out of this eight of swords energy. If you're in this energy of just being in that ambitious, driven, fiery energy and being full of love, compassion, peace, harmony, nurturing, giving, healing kind of energy. With the king of cups and the king of wands, king or queen, I think that'll over trump this eight of swords. And I think you'll be able to uh, get rid of all these negative thoughts that you have from time to time. You know, once you start to accomplish yourself and you're being successful, because um, the emperor is very successful, so is the king of wands, that you'll get rid of all these eight of swords energies. 
see what's on the bottom. So we have the four of wands. So that's a stable home life. Happiness, happiness in the home, you know, stability in the home, a secure foundation. This can be marriage or ceremonies also. So if you are married, I see it's going to be very stable. Or if you're getting married, it's going to be very stable. Or if you're going into a new connection, a new romantic connection or something, I see it stabilizing and maybe going uh, up in commitment or something like that. Ten of Wands. So yeah, laying down burdens no longer serving you. Again, going on that journey that you're meant to go on and laying down the burdens that are no longer serving you. Fire energy. Conflict. Yeah, I did feel like there may be conflict with people, friends, family around you that may not agree with what you're doing. But, you know, it's like this is you. And you're like, you know what? You guys can go hash it out. I'm just moving on. You know? <laughs> and you got the two ones. So you're making plans, decisions, very passionate energy moving forward in your new direction because there's the path again. So making those plans, decisions, uh, and how you're moving forward. And now you get the king of swords. Wow. So the only king we don't have so far is the king of pentacles. But we have three kings here. Wow. So... And the emperor, you know, emperor takes on all the energy of the kings and the empress takes on all the energy of the queens. And we don't have any queens here. So if you're a female, you must, you may have just very masculine energy. Or if you're a male, you may just have very, very um, masculine energy also. So, but it can be, you know, male or female. So yeah, living in, and, and here's the head enlightened again. So living in your truth and clarity, clear cut communication, being in your throne. You know, I cut away the things no longer serving me. I'm standing in, well, saying in my truth. Uh, I have clarity. I tell it like it is and I don't take any BS kind of energy. Just watch your energy. This can be kind of a cold cut energy that you don't get too icy. Okay, now we have the king and queen of swords. But so, I mean, you could be married to a possible soulmate. Or coming into union with a soulmate or leveling up a commitment with a soulmate so this could be about a relationship for some of you some i feel like you're going into a new spiritual journey or a new career or something like that but it can be anything but this is divine counterparts with the king and queen of swords so doesn't mean you have to be air signs you could be any sign this is just clarifying if you're with somebody even if you're married not married whatever level leveling up the relationship whatever and you're wondering, yep, this is divine counterparts. And this also reminds me of the divine with the sword of truth, clarity, bringing in this for you that's meant to be for you, going, leading you on your path. Here's the rainbow. It's like the path you're meant to go on. And the lover. So some of you are definitely here coming together with the soulmate, possible twin flame. Or you are. It's confirmation that you're already with them. Um, or you could be getting married to them. But this is about choices coming into union with what exactly is meant for you, the tree for stability, the flowers here for growth and expansion, and just be total, being totally in lot, aligned with yourself, your purpose, and what you, the path you're meant to go on. And strength, so Leo energy, so being very strong, courageous, and brave, having that uh, willpower, that drive, ambition, um, being able to control yourself when you need to, so yeah, and being being in totally aligned with your with what you're meant to do. Divine energy here leading you the way. Or it could be divine counterparts here. But again, truth, clarity, all that kind of energy, making plans for the future, leaving the conflict behind, or whatever that is for you. Yep, laying down the burdens of all that conflict that people that are not supporting you, you may just walk away from them. But you have stability here in your home life. Whatever you're doing, whatever path, this is stability. So you do have stability here in your home life. So that's a good energy. So let's get some Moonology cards for you, extra messages. So Virgo, if you like my style, you like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, please don't forget to hit the bell, and you'll be notified when you post new readings. When you hit the bell, there's like three choices. If you hit all, you'll get all notifications. Um, keep in mind you'll get all the signs, um, notifications, not just Virgo. So um, you still can subscribe. Um, so if you subscribe, you'll get four readings a month. You'll get a general tarot forecast like this. You'll get a love connection energy reading. 
a singles reading who's coming towards me when where how what kind of connection it will be and messages from your spirit guides messages from spirit what you need to know at this time so if you're interested in all that that's those are all monthly uh, please hit the bell and you won't miss out on any of those readings and if you do thank you thank you Virgo okay let's get some extra messages for Virgo extra messages for Virgo what do we have for Virgo spirit please extra messages for Virgo hold your vision exactly fixed moon so hold your vision with the path you're going on and we have you're very close to achieving your goal wow gibbous moon so exactly to keep focused because you're very close to finishing your goal taking that leap of faith coming from a compassionate loving heart and you can do it you are a magical person you can manifest manifest this and uh have your intentions come into reality so any other messages so we have bring love into the situation new moon in aquarius so that could be uh something for you coming into the season of aquarius which is the end of january into february so you could be you could be closing out your goal in uh, january into february and again it's telling you to be in that loving compassionate energy not to let the king and queen of swords there not let your energy get cold and icy you know it's right next to the king of cups energy here so stay in that loving compassionate energy so confidence is your key to success new moon in leo so and we did have leo come out here with strength so maybe you had the confidence here to start on this journey in the Leo season, which was July into August, could have been this year, last year, whatever. Maybe that's when you started your journey was in the summer months, July and August. And you may be finishing up your journey uh, January, February time. All right. So is there any other messages? Nothing will come of this situation. Void or course moon. Huh. So I don't know what that means. Nothing will come of this situation. Hmm. I feel like whatever situation you're in previous to this leap of faith, it, it wasn't going to do anything for you moving forward. It was time to void it out of your life. It was just time. It was just time because it wasn't going anywhere for you. It wasn't going to move you forward. It wasn't going to give you growth and abundance. All right. So because you see turning back here. So yeah, I feel like wherever you were before this new journey was uh was not going to propel you forward in any way there wasn't going to be any growth expansion maybe you just had a regular day-to-day -day job it was the same thing day in day out and it wasn't really going to lead you anywhere not definitely not on your uh life purpose or the uh journey you were meant to take on the bottom we hear we have have faith in your dreams wax and crescent moon and right here we have leap of faith Right, so I do feel here, wherever you were in the past was not going to do anything for you, and you knew that. You took that leap of faith, and you had faith in your dreams moving forward, whatever they were. So I see very good energy here of, you know, things going in a better direction, things going in your favor, having a positive, happy outcome, stability, growth, abundance, happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way, Virgo, as long as you follow your dreams and move forward. I feel like six, you feel like you're only half of who you are. And then six, 12, once you complete this cycle, you'll be a full rounded person. If that makes sense. Okay, Virgo, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, with my channel, it's with the sun energy here, is to always, always shine your light.